I had such a good time painting on pastel matte that I decided to try a wolf on pastel matte. This is the uh, wine colored uh, pastel matte. It's very dark. I wasn't sure if it was going to work out or not, but I thought I'd press on. You can see from my drawing that I, uh, I used a lot of black and white to kind of rough in what I was doing because the paper's kind of dark and I wasn't really happy with my drawing, but I decided to press on. Uh, here I'm putting in the eyes with Conte pencils. I will uh, list the pencils I used in the description under the video. And I'm also using a black charcoal pencil, but I'm using two or three different uh, Conte pencils to get the bright amber eyes in the wolf. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've already put in the background I decided to make it kind of a warm, woodsy color background. I used uh, Giro pastels for those, uh, for the background. I love Giro's, they're very soft, and their browns are wonderful. It's unusual to find some really good brown colors. Here I'm using the white charcoal pencil to add the highlight in the eye and now as I paint the wolf will be watching me to make sure that I'm doing what I should be doing. I go back and forth to make sure I get the shape just exactly the way it needs to be. I'm going to use some blue to add those highlights on the rim and in the corner of the eye. Now I'm coloring in the nose with a uh, new pastel with uh, 305 spruce blue. I like to put blue under areas that are going to be black, particularly with the nose. It gives a little more depth of color. So you see I'm just lightly coloring that in. I'm going to add some purple highlights with my purple Conte pencil on top of the nose where the light hits it probably need to use a little, well, I'm going to use a little mauve and then a little blue where the light strikes that. I like to use every opportunity that I can to add color when I'm working. I just think it's, uh, just makes your work, I mean that's what art's for, so you can add a lot of color. Put a little blue on top of the nose, that's a little, a little much, but we'll see how it works. More mauve. That's a Derwent pencil. I like Derwent pencils. They're very soft. They work very nice on this paper. And a little more purple as we work along. You can see I've started to put in the ears and then I <clears throat> kind of backed off. I also put in uh, some base coats around the wolf's face. I, I know that uh, you can base coat with a lot of uh, different products. You can use new pastels or Rembrandt's. I chose to use Giro's again. I think they're soft. They're wonderful pastel. They don't fill the tooth in entirely and they give me a good background to work on top of with uh, adding pencils. Now I'm putting some black on the nose with the new pastel. And you see my arm up there, I'm searching for things to do because I'm not really sure. My colors are sitting above there. So I've got a few pencils in my hand here. I'm gonna add just different colors on the nose until I get exactly the right color that I want. And final highlights with a, a white charcoal pencil. So I've got my black new pastel.
putting a little uh, dark gray under the nose kind of color in that area. I don't think it's quite dark enough, so I'm going to add some black on top of that. Blending with my blending stump. I like to use those especially on this paper. Now, all of you that know me know that my favorite, favorite paper is velour. I do love that the most. But I thought I'd give the pastel matte another try. So now I'm adding the areas that are going to be darker on the wool with new pastel. Now I'm not drawing hairs, I'm just shading in some black, putting in some undercoats to decide where I should put hairs. So we're going to draw hairs in last, but right now we're just basing in uh, large areas of color. putting in his mask. Put in some black above his nose. And I'm using a brown Giro because wolves have a lot of brown in their fur as well. So I'm using a brown over the eyes, in the corner of the eyes and I'm going to blend them in with a stump. You can use your finger too. Um, I like the stump. It makes things a little more even, color a little more even. So I like to use that. Getting up underneath the eyes because we're going to have white hairs there later. It's very important to watch the direction uh, of your strokes. You want to make sure you're following the direction that the hair grows on the animal. So that's what I'm doing. Now I have a a black Giro. It's very soft and you can see it's much darker than the new pastel. So I want to go a shade darker <clears throat> with the black uh, black areas of the wolf. And I'm, I'm liking the way this is looking now. I wasn't too sure in the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and add in these blacker areas. I do like the new past the pastel matte, the new colors that they have, particularly the navy blue and the wine are very nice. So I'm going to blend that black in. providing a good base to start adding my hair. Now, the tool I'm holding now is a Create a Color Black Pastel Lead. They're a little hard to uh, come across, and it's in a, a holder. Uh, that is not the product. It's just a, a um, device to hold the lead but it is very, very black. It's blacker than the charcoal pencil, which is why I like to use it. And I'm shaping up my eye a little bit now with my Conte pencil. Lost the shape. So I'm putting in some of the hairs now with the Create a Color Black Pastel Lead, and I'll put the number in the description box you can buy you can buy the the create a color leads on dick blick and other suppliers in the united states but they're usually a charcoal product instead of the black pastel lead and that's what we want is the black pastel lead so you can see i'm drawing drawing out the hairs on the side of his face I 
can also sharpen that lead with a lead pointer or in a handheld pencil sharpener so I can get it very very sharp. Now I'm using a new pastel brown. Um, probably not so crazy about that, so I'm going to switch to a Giro brown. Found a nice one. I'm going to add some brown hair on the side before we add any more black hairs. I also, now I'm adding like a purpley gray. Now that one's too light, so I'm going to kind of try to blend that out. And I'm sorry I don't have any numbers on the Giro. The, the numbers are imprinted on the pastel sticks, but once they're broken and you start to use them, they pretty much disappear. So now I found another uh, purpley gray, so I'm going to base coat some lighter hair underneath his chin and I've got a nice purple going there and that'll make a very nice undercoat when I go to uh, add darker grayer hairs over that. Here again we're adding a little more purple gray more black hair starting to shape up over his eyes now I'm using a variety of Carbothello pastel pencils uh, to add the lighter hairs that grow over the eyes under the eyes on the coat uh, keep them very sharp I tend to, uh, I can, I push them outwards, they form a thinner line. Don't apply a lot of pressure, just carefully add the hairs. This is more of like a medium gray color, not super, super light. But we do want to watch the direction those hairs grow in. It's very, very important. And again, I'll put the uh, numbers of the pencils I'm using in the description box underneath the video. So now I'm carefully adding them. I'm liking the way this is turning out. I, I'm very pleased with the wolf. Making it a little more solid and not just lines right now so that it shows the fluffiness of the fur. Now I have my white charcoal pencil to add some brighter white hairs. I'm using the black to draw out from the lid into where the hairs will grow out from underneath the eye. Pastel matte is a very versatile surface. You can use softer pastels as well as harder pastels on it. I'm very happy with it. So back to my gray pencil now. Being very careful of the direction of the hair because the hair direction changes when it comes out of the eye. It comes over the nose and you have to be very careful that you get that correct. 
So now the hair is coming down the side. So we're going to switch to the white pencil now. The sun catches that side of his face and it's very bright. So I'm kind of outlining it, make sure my shape is correct. And I'm correcting that with my black charcoal pencil when it's not right. Now this is a white new pastel. This is the brightest area on the side of his face. And so I'm just using the edge of the stick to get the white pastel down. And then I'm blending it around the nose with a paper stump. And now I'm going to use the black pastel lead, create a color lead again. And now I've switched to the pencils to draw in the little hairs that are underneath the nose above the lip on the upper lip. Drawing in his bottom lip, evening out that edge. I'm using a very light uh, touch to put in these hairs that grow on the side of his face. Switching to a light brown, back to the black, back and forth just to get the effect I want. I don't think you need a lot of pencils. Although it's much brighter right there in the corner. So I'm using the white to brighten up those hairs, make it stand out a little more. This is my black Giro. They have beautiful, very black, black. And so I'm putting this row of black hair that's next to, you can see where I've sketched in the white hair. I'm putting the black in so I can pull the lighter hairs over top of that as I begin to build out the wolf's fur, blending it in. So I'm going to continue to add those hairs. And in part two of this project, I will use, uh, we'll, bend, we'll continue to build up the hairs until we have a finished wolf. Thank you for watching.